Be careful what you wish for because, because it can become a reality. Yeah. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to come out here and just sound off on this whole Canelo Alvarez vacating the IBF situation because... Uh, let me get up, because uh, now I'm getting stiff. Because really and truthfully, you know, Canelo is not giving the boxing fans what they want to see. You know, um... Most boxing fans want to see Canelo fight Dea Benavidez. Dea Benavidez is now light heavyweight, so that, that's looking unlikely. You know, he's not going to fight Dea Morrell or any, anybody like that. So, the IBF told Canelo recently, well, look, Canelo, he said, look, Canelo, you can't just sit here and twiddle your thumbs and scratch your ass and hold, and, and hold the belts hostage. You got to fight someone, right? And they got a mandatory challenger, and he, go, he goes by the name of William Skoll. Now, William Skoll is a... You know, in the grand scheme of things, he's a relative no name in the sport. Uh, he doesn't have a lot, of, a lot of notoriety, but he's a number one contender, and I respect his position. So if Canelo Alvarez wanted to fight him, wanted to stay undisputed champion, he had to fight good old <laughs> William Skull. And guess what? He chose not to fight William Skull. So if I want, if I, if I really wanted to be a Canelo hater, like you guys say I am, I would say he's ducking William Skull. Canelo exposed. But we're not going to say that because we understand that this is prize fighting. And Canelo Alvarez has a truckload of options that pay way better than William Skull. And William Skull would probably be more than likely at the same level or a slight downgrade from fighting Omni Ildrum. So the question now becomes, what the hell is Canelo going to do? Because when you look at the, the, the super middleweight landscape, he still occupies three of the four titles. Okay, now... Let, let, let's go through it. And this off the dome. So the WBO recently just elevated Diego Pacheco as the number one contender in the division. Even though he's the number one contender, you know, um, I don't foresee him fighting Canelo right now. It's too early. It's too early in his career. I mean, I'm sure if the paperwork gets passed, he'll sign the contract because it's a lot of money. But I think it's too early in his career. And he's got a lot, a steep, sharp learning curve, Pacheco. And I like Diego, but... Um, now, like the t I don't think now for him is the time to take that fight. So you have that. The IBF belt that's now vacant. William Skull is going to fight Vladimir Shishkin for that belt. So they'll, 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 they'll settle that dispute for the IBF. Um, who was it? WBC. I forgot, who the, I, I, I forgot who the number one contender is in WBC. I know Edgar Belanga is the WBA number one contender. And that's, and that's really, like, really, when I survey the landscape, and I know boxing fans don't want to hear this, but when I survey that landscape, now with, you know, you look, at, you, look, you look at the IBF belt being vacated, so he's not going to fight for the IBF. Pacheco is not going to fight him right, right now. There's no reason why it's not. I, I actually don't, I can't, I can't not see Edgar Belanga next. Um, unless, unless he does the Benavides fight next, which, you know, I, I, I never rule out because it's the fight that boxing fans want the most. And I think it's the fight that'll pay him the most. But I think he's, he's just playing hardball. So I leave that door open. But if he's not doing the Benavides fight then I foresee Canelo Alvarez doing Edgar Belanga because when you look at the landscape right now of the guys that are mandatory, the guys that are number one contenders, that's the guy that's in the best position. You know, he's a name, he's Puerto Rican, he's got a fan base. Um, and, he's, and, and look, love him or hate him, you know, Edgar Belanga is a polarizing figure in boxing. He, um, I would say these days it, it, it feels like most people dislike him more than like him just because they feel like he's overrated, but listen, as we said many, as we say stated many times here on True School Sports, money talks and bullshit walks. And look, when it comes to boxing, you see, you see those two flags. You see those two flags right there, Puerto Rico, Mexico. When you get two high-profile names from those countries, generally speaking, that's what's going to generate money because those are two boxing-proud powerhouse countries, and they're going to get behind their fighters no matter what. So, I know people don't like it. I know, like, I've heard people say that they don't... I, I've heard Puerto Rican boxing fans say that they don't want Edgar Belanga to fight Canelo Alvarez because they don't feel like he's worthy of representing us uh, against Canelo, right? They feel like his boxing IQ is very rudimentary, isn't up to par, and he just has no chance against an experienced veteran fighter like Canelo Alvarez. Now, only Edgar can change the narrative by what he does in the ring, but honestly... That's the fight I think we're going to get. So if, if, you're, if you're a fan of 
the super middleweight division and of boxing, prepare to see it. You're gonna get it. Me Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Not in the way you want, but it's gonna it's gonna happen. You know, um, you gotta think about it too, right? Canelo Alvarez, he hasn't had like a big Puerto Rico Mexico fight since Cotto, and that was what <laughs> we're talking what seven eight years ago. Damn near nine. I think it was 2015. I think we're talking. I think we're talking about damn near ten years ago now. So with that being said. There's not many fights I think could generate more money for Canelo Alvarez than a Berlanga fight. Just because, like I said, Berlanga's Puerto Rican. Berlanga has a polarizing personality. And I just think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be promoted really, really well. And I just remember, too, like, when I was talking to Keith Conley, Edgar's manager. If you guys know Keith Conley, he's like one of the most esteemed managers in boxing. Keith Conley, I asked him about the potential of Berlanga fighting Diego Pacheco, which is a fight I think really and truthfully should be happening next. And it's not because he wants to secure that big payday for Canelo, which understandably so. As a manager, your job is to secure the biggest paydays and put your fighter in the most high profile fights possible and give him the best chance to succeed. Now, whether or not you feel Berlanga has the best chance to succeed, is up, that, that, that's up to your opinion as a fan. But as far as from a money-making standpoint, if he gets in that fight, he's done his job, right? So I wanted them to fight each other. And um, he pretty much said... Diego's not going to fight Edgar. Edgar's not going to fight Diego. It's, it doesn't make sense. So he said they both should be chasing Canelo. And the crazy thing is now they're both in position to fight Canelo, which is crazy because Diego Pacheco is only like 22, but he's really like 32 because he's like, he's, like, he's, like he's like a middle-aged man. He's got like a whole family now. He's got a dog. He's doing his thing. So shout out to Diego Pacheco. I got, I got a lot of love for the young man, Diego Pacheco. He's a friend of the program, but... um. I still think he's some fights off. I think he's got more development to be had. You can't go from... Like, Pacheco can't go from... Jack Collin to Sean McCallum to Canelo. That's, that's like you're basically climbing, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Everest. So, um, yeah, guys, that's what that means. When I, when, I hear, when I hear the news of Canelo Alvarez vacating the belt to not fight William Skull, I, I, I hear that he's fighting. That, 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 it, it lets me know that we're close to an Edgar Belongo fight. And just to play devil's advocate, right, to you Canelo fanboys out there, because I, I got a great relationship with you Canelo fanboys. And I, I know you guys are going to come here and watch this whole video and you're gonna say I'm hating no matter what I say, so I'm, 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 gonna, give, I'm gonna give you something to hate on. You Canelo fanboys always say, oh, Canelo Alvarez can, is the face of boxing, correct? So therefore, if he was really and truthfully the face of boxing, if Canelo Alvarez was really that guy, if he was really moving the needle as you guys say, then guess what? He could fight a William Skull and he could sell it out. But the main reason why he's getting a pass and not taking this fight is because William Skull isn't a big money making fighter. But what does it matter if he's a big money-making fighter if you're truly the face of boxing? So just, just marinate on that. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say he's ducking William Skull because I, I don't think it's a duck. Um, I feel like I'd be clutching at straws. But just saying. But anyway, let me, let, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Canelo vacating the belt to not fight his IBF mandatory William Skull? What do you guys think about William Skull fighting... Vladimir Shishkin for the title. I'm happy for Vladimir Shishkin. Shishkin finally gets a shot at the belt. You know, he, uh, I see him here in South Florida sometimes at gyms, and he's always training hard and sparring hard. So I'm happy for him to get the opportunity. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think about that fight? What do you guys think about the, pot uh, the potential canelo Berlanga fight? And, yeah, just give me all your thoughts down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take you guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.